we will be ending up our conversation regarding this uh, selected tutorial. So in this case, at the end, all we are now going to do, we are going to create a particular selector name which will be known as test position. Now if we just press Ctrl S, first of all let's see what is the output, everything is alright, nothing is so far. We have just initiated this particular selector name but we haven't put any kind of properties and we haven't declared that selector into our main index.html page. So that is why in the first case all we need to do, we need to create this background property which will be yellow. We are putting a width of 100% and we are putting a height of 200 pips. Now let's get back to index.html and at the end all we are going to do, now let's put it over here, div class. So what was the name of that particular selector? It was test position. So all we are going to do, we are going to copy this one and we are going to paste it over here. There it goes. So we have created a div class with test position and we have defined that test position selector name into our stylesheet.css. Now if we get back to our project, we can see that here comes the div that we had created so far. Now all we are going to do, just pay a closer attention over here. We are now putting here class and we are discarding off this background property from this test position here. Instead, all we are going to do, we are going to put it here. Now what exactly does it say? It says that any class which has a string of position at the beginning of a particular selector, it will be having a background color of yellow. So if we now uh, get back to index.html, we can see where is the uh, particular div which is using a class starting with this keyword position. There it goes. We can see that here comes this particular class name position tester that starts with this keyword position. So if we now get back to our project, we will see that the same div that has been initially created at the bottom with a background color of yellow, this background color is now disappearing. Just scroll up the page and we can see that in case of the div which was practically using a class starting with the keyword position, it is now getting a yellow background color. But the same thing is not happening over here at the bottom end of this page as we have used this particular get down to your page of index.html and we can see that this is the test position div where we had used the keyword instead of the beginning the keyword position it was mentioned at the end. So that is why we can safely conclude that any class which has a string of keywords of position, it will be having these particular properties. So this is the object of this particular selector where the object of this selector is to select any element that starts with the keyword position. And there, there it goes. Now instead of test position, if we use here position test, we need to change this position test change this into this position test. So this is what we are going to do. Now if we get back to our project, we will see that the same thing is now being displayed at the bottom of this web page. We can see that this particular div with its yellow background property is back into action and is being visible. So in this particular case too, we can see that position is used at the start of this particular selector name that we are using over here. So it is now being used in both the cases in this last div that we have created 
and which is using a class of position test. On the other hand, in this case, which is using the selector with the name of position tester. So if we now get back to our project and if we move on or if we scroll up, we can see that the same exact thing is being happening over here. Here we can see that this yellow background is being now executed in both the cases. In the first case, where we had used this position tester class and in the last case where we had used this position test class. Again, if instead of position test, if we now reverse this keyword into the last position, there it goes. So now if we get back to our project, we will see that there is no such display at the bottom of this web page, the yellow background color is disappeared again. But in this first case where we had used that uh, keyword at the beginning of the selector name as position tester, it is now executing this yellow background color. Now in the similar fashion, if instead of this particular attribute, we now use this one class hash. So we are now using this position and we will be using this exact same property here, this yellow background color. And all we are going to do, we are going to comment this thing off. We have already seen that in case of attributes that starts with a definite keyword as mentioned in a particular attribute selector, then it will be executing some definite properties. But what if we now use this particular attribute over here and here we have created this one class position and in this index.html we have used this test position and at the top of this index.html we have used this div class position tester. Now if we get back to our project we can now see that the web page is now displaying this particular yellow background at the bottom of this web page where we had used this individual class of test position. But now if we scroll up, we can see that the position tester div that we had created earlier, it is now not executing the yellow background property as been specified into our project. This is due to the fact that we are now using this kind of attribute selector which practically selects any attribute that holds the keyword in the last position. So that is why we can see that in this selector name position now comes at the, at the end of this particular selector name. But in case of position tester where we had created that particular class here, this position tester, we can see that position keyword it is now appearing at the beginning of this selector name but in case of this test position the keyword position is now appearing at the end of this particular selector name so we can conclude as position keyword it is now appearing at the end of this particular selector name so it will be executing this property and that is what exactly being seen over here. Now in case, in case of this test position, if we just now remove this keyword from the end and if we now place it at the beginning and we are going to copy this particular name from here and we are going to paste it into our index.html, there it goes. So if we now use this particular selector name of position test, now we can see that there is absolutely no such display of yellow background but we can safely conclude that the div is now appearing at the bottom of this web page but it is now having no background color property because we have moved this particular position keyword from the end to the initial position as being described over here. So this is what we need to know from this tutorial. Hope you guys have liked this tutorial of selectors, of different kind of selectors those been described in the past uh, five to six videos. So I hope the, you guys have liked this tutorial. If you guys have liked this tutorial, then do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button down below. Hope to see you guys in our next tutorial. Till then, 